wanted to create this video to talk about DxO Pure Raw, this new feature that's become available from DxO um, as a standalone raw converter and noise reduction tool at the demosaicing process. If you are a DxO Photolab user, I'm not, but as I understand it, if you have something like Photolab 4 Elite, you already have all this functionality, so it really doesn't matter for you. This really is intended as a standalone tool for users of other systems, Lightroom and Photoshop. So that's where this video is, is going to focus. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is, I've got this image, and you can see from the EXIF information, taken back in 17, at a very high ISO, ISO 12,800 down in Torres del Paine National Park in Chile. If I click up here and zoom in a bit, um, sure, we got some noise. It's ISO 12,800. Frankly, not that horrible at that high of, a, high of an ISO. Um, this was taken on a Canon 5D Mark IV with a 24 millimeter f1.4 lens, but I was at f5.6 so I could try to get depth in the foreground and a short enough shutter, shutter speed that I wouldn't have star trails. This is moonlight. This, was, this entire scene was lit by about a quarter moon. So here's the, the way it works. It's really pretty simple. You, you take this image and you get it into DxO Prime. Now there's a difference in the way you're going to do this if you're on a Windows machine or if you're on a Mac. Windows, unfortunately, is not supporting drag and drop from Lightroom to DxO. I heard that on another video. I don't have Windows, so I can't prove it, but I certainly believe it from that particular reviewer. If you're on a Mac, it's much easier. You just drag and drop. Uh, let me back up. If you're on a Windows machine, what you'd need to do is right click, and then you'll have an option that says Show in Explorer. So I'll click on Show in Finder on a Mac. It's going to open up a, a Windows Explorer window for you, a Finder for me. And then you drag this file from Explorer into DxO. So that's how you do it on a Windows box. On a Mac, it's easier. Um, if I were to take this file, is this the same one I was looking at? Yeah, same file. I have DxO pure raw running over here. It's sitting right here. So from the film strip, I could simply drag it over there and drop it and let go. That's one way to get it over there. The other way to get it over there, let me go back to Lightroom, is if I put my cursor on it, start to drag, and press Command Tab, it'll bring up the task switcher, and I dr drag and drop it from there. It doesn't matter which way you do it, you drag it and drop it in there. So now that I've got it over there, oh, I guess I don't have it over there. I thought I dropped it, but I obviously didn't. Good, so I'll, I'll make that happen. So there's the file. Got it in DxO. I'm going to uncheck this one because I don't want to process two. Now the first time you drag something in, if it's not seen that camera lens combination, it's going to ask you to download a lens correction profile from DxO for that camera lens combo. It's very fast, a couple of seconds and you got it. Once you've downloaded it once, you're done. Select the file you want and you click Process Photos. There's no sliders, there's no nothing. You don't have many choices. The method you have <clears throat> something they call HQ Prime or Deep Prime. Deep Prime is their fanciest noise reduction methodology. So I've been leaving everything on Deep Prime. Output format, you either get a JPEG or a DNG. Well, that's easy. I want a DNG. That's a RAW file. Where do you want to put it? I'm going to put it in a DxO folder. That's a subfolder of the original image folder, wherever it came from. And you can see up here, it's guessing it's going to take about 25 seconds. I'm just going to click Process. And you get a little progress bar down here at the bottom. And you just wait. You don't do anything. It's, it's reasonably quick to process these files. you If you had multiple files in here, you could select more than one and process them all at once. It's up to you. 
Okay, this one's almost completed. And when it's done, you have some options as to what to do. You can view the results. I'm not going to do that here because it just brings up a viewer here. You could go to Finder or on Windows go to Explorer, or you can say Export. This is the cool workport part, workflow part. I'm just going to export it right back to Lightroom Classic. You see it has a couple of options. Adobe Lightroom, that's the Creative Cloud version. Classic, the desktop. Adobe Photoshop, that would obviously push it to Photoshop, but since it's a DNG, it would be intercepted and be opened by Adobe Camera Raw. So let's just push it back to Lightroom Classic. I click Export. It brings up the Import dialog box in Classic. You should always have the Add option selected because we've already the file's already out there. It's in the DXO folder, subfolder of the file it came from. So all I have to do is add it. All that does is stick it in the Lightroom catalog. Okay, we got it. There it is. So. If I double click it, this is the DXO Deep Prime version. Okay, let's zoom in in that same location and let it render. Now, if you look at the noise and the details, it's very different. But let's compare it so we can really see what's going on. So if I go to where that thing lives in my Lightroom catalog, I'm going to go up to the Parent folder. And the one I want is to 1249 to pull up. I think it's going to show me three because I've processed a PSD. Here's the raw file we processed. Here's the deep prime. Let's bring them up side by side in comparison mode. So not only is the noise different, but if you look at some of the luminance values, like in the, the face of these rocks, like where I'm pointing here, this is brighter than it was. It dealt with it in a very intelligent way. Um, look at the snow over here versus the snow over here. Um, down in the foreground, the deep shadowed foreground, the difference. So I think they did a fabulous job processing this high ISO image. Another thing I want to show is that's the original RAW. I'm going to now just toggle back and forth between the full frame version of this and the Deep Prime DXO. You notice the lens correction? that's been applied. That lens correction, as near as I can tell, is very, very similar to the lens correction that you could apply in Lightroom. So while that's, it's nice because it's built in, it's not a game changer because you could do that in Lightroom. But for me, the, the product, the end result, is so much better. Straight raw, straight raw, denoised, and demosaiced in a different way. We have not applied any Lightroom settings at all. This was just the difference between demosaicing de the raw file using Lightroom and doing another demosaic process using DxO Pure Raw and applying their deep prime noise reduction algorithm. I've tested this on 20, 30, 40 images so far, I don't know. Um, certainly the most radical changes that you see are on high ISO images, but I'm also seeing improvements at varying levels on different images of different flavors. So, you know, give it a try. Right now, there's a 30-day free trial. It's $90 to buy this piece of software, which sort of sounds expensive for sort of a one-trick pony. You know, it's, it's a raw processor. There's no sliders, there's no nothing. But it's 90 bucks through the end of May. At the end of May, it goes up to 129 So um, just throwing that out there for your information. For me, I think I will end up purchasing the software because 
for me to do that in one click and start with this image on the left versus that image on the right is a game changer. I have tested this against Topaz Denoise AI. Um, for me, there's no contest. To start with, this is way faster. And I don't know if you've seen it, if you have Topaz, but I have seen instances where if you try to neat noise reduce an image like this, part of it works, part of it doesn't. You end up with this blotchy, frankly, mess. And I actually did it on this image, and the results were that blotchy mess in comparison to the DxO version. Um, it, it really was no contest at all. In, in either case, you know, this is way better than the original RAW, and this was also way better, way better than a Topaz Denoise AI version. Your mileage may vary. Try it. See if you like it. See what it does for you.